What's up everybody, it's Miguel. Just came out the grocery store, right over there. I got a bag, I don't know if you can see me in the mirror. A bag full of groceries on my back. And uh, this is gonna be my first time doing something like this. I carried a bunch of stuff, like, as far as like clothing and stuff, but like some heavy grocery bag stuff. It's never happened before. And I usually would just have it on a book bag. But this time, I felt like I need to uh, step it up a notch. Because I really need to get some food. Stop spending money outside the house. Run two up. Um. I think my first time riding two up on my bike and me riding. Cause I, I've yet to be on some back of somebody's bike. But as far as me riding being two up, I think the first time I did it was like maybe a week into my riding. And I didn't want to do it. Just like I, it took me a long time to, well it didn't take me a long time, but it took me a while to hop on the highway because I wanted to get experience first before I do anything like that. And so, um, Hanging with my buddy, he uh, he kept pushing the notion to doing things. A lot of times he wouldn't ask me; he just <laughs> he just do it. But he always uh, pushing the notion of doing things that uh, I was like, nah, I'm gonna hold off on that and I'm gonna get better first before I start doing that. So like, you know, uh, I think my third day riding it was at night time and it was and like some back roads and um it was dark i mean like really dark because with no uh, lights no street lights and then it was also um got all those rocks I'll take the guy out um and it was also like water all over the place you know so he had the tendency of putting me, he was had the tendency of putting me through things like that when I was still a rookie. So, that moment came, uh, it was like a weekend, I think. I had maybe seven days total in riding. And um, I came by around his house and I was like, man, I'm hungry, get something to eat. He's riding, mind you, he's riding at the time. I think he might have asked me, hey, you want to get something to eat? So I'm like, yeah. And then he suggested a place, this place called Island Cuisine. Uh, and it's near my house. Maybe about uh, 15 minutes, around 15 minutes, 10 minutes away. And so he was like, hey, we can go there. I'm like, all right. I'm like, so you're going to drive? And he's like, no. And I'm riding the back of your bike. I'm like, man. So I started giving him reasons why I didn't want to do it. And he was like, ah, it's going to be easy. I've already done it before. Cause he uh he got his license at the same time I did. He's the guy in the video that drives the um the rides the, the Nighthawk, the Honda Nighthawk. So um you know I I succumbed to what he was saying. Like it's gonna be easy. So, you know, I was backing up well I don't I don't think I was feeling the same way I was when I when I did my first ride home, but I was feeling some kind of way nervous and crap and uh, worried about everything I was doing especially when it came to turns and that was also around the time where my um, my clutch wasn't uh, I had too much slack in it and so uh, it was really hard for me to get the bike into neutral it was hard for me to switch gears um, I had all kinds of problems. So like once I got past second gear, I was good, but uh, going to first or trying to get in neutral to going to second, um, it would usually be some type of problem. So you add all that, my inexperience, my gear shifting problem, um, and the extra person on the back, you know, and so I was taking it slow. I wasn't saying, like I said, I wasn't as bad as my first ride but I was still taking it slow um, so like in the car 
you know, only going maybe like 40 miles an hour and all that stuff. I was doing maybe 30 max. And then during the turns, probably dropped down like 15 or something, 20. Uh, and, you know, we went to that place. Made it there. We didn't have that many turns to do, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and then we came back. I had to do a hard turn to the left and all that. Nervous about it. But um, I made it without a hitch. No problems whatsoever. No shaking. Like No like close to messing up or anything. No brake problems. So that turned out good. And then um, after that, I think... After that, I was like looking for people to ride, ride with me. Um, so since then, I, I've I've driven two up, maybe ten, maybe ten times. And I mean, compared to what people say about riding two up, it wasn't that bad at all. You know, it wasn't it wasn't hard, wasn't complicated. The extra weight. Um, really didn't do anything to me. Honestly, didn't really feel it. Uh, like, it wasn't like a significant change to where I had to change everything I was doing. And, uh, I've done, like, you know, in the city riding. I've done back roads riding. I've done, um windy roads which is not it's not compared to a lot of you guys that's like in the middle of the state I mean yeah in the middle of the country like out the Midwest or uh, West it's not that windy or down south but you know it's windy enough to be different from this Ugh. and uh, all of it was alright I've done it slow per se I've done it fast per se you know um, I never came close to having a problem at all I think what it what it takes is not only paying attention to the fact that um, you have an extra person on there and so they need to um, be focused in a sense they need to be paying attention to what's going on around you and how you're going to turn and anticipate um, how hard you're going to have to turn and all that stuff. I think that's probably the biggest problem with uh, riding two up is the, the passenger and not you. Because as long as you, you know, you ride normally because everything's still lined up, you know, the weight is still lined up like it's supposed to be, then, you know, physics is going to take care of it. It's really hard to mess up riding on a motorcycle um, as long as you're paying attention to the, the 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 techniques that that allows it to stay upright, you know, and um, the physics about it behind it. So like the extra weight is not going to tip you over for some reason because you know physics-wise, that's not how it works. Um, but you do have to worry about the passenger um, doing stupid stuff while you're riding doing a turn they trying to change that body position and get more comfortable in the seat stuff like that yeah that's when you gotta worry about it um, I actually rode when I was in um, Massachusetts area riding up to Boston I was riding two up and I was getting hit with some crazy crosswinds like I've been hit with crosswinds before, and um, it wasn't too bad, I think. And granted, like I said, I'm on the East Coast, so we don't have that strong crosswinds the majority of the time. Uh, but um, I got hit with some up, up north in, in, in the Massachusetts, man. And we was riding two up, and it, it, <laughs> my bike went so far over to the left, I mean, to the right, man. It, ah. That was like the most nervous I've ever gotten with a passing on my back because of how hard I got pushed. And then I had, you know, when you're getting pushed, you got to lean, you know, to counteract the push. And so the, 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 
the the amount I had to lean to make sure or to, to, to feel like I'm making sure that I'm not gonna fall or get pushed out into the uh, the median I mean the, the shoulder man I got my heart racing hard it's my head a little scheme on the bike but you know um if you're gonna ride to uh make sure you're uh attentive to your 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 uh, passenger make sure that your passenger is paying attention to you and the environment make sure you pay attention to the environment i tell you with the extra weight bumps are a little bit more extra you know so pay attention to that the fact that you got somebody on the back and they could be bouncing around all crazy like because of the bumps and you don't want that you want to be nice to your passengers just like in a car you don't want to be doing crazy stuff and your, and your passenger is having a hard time hard time living because you ain't doing it right that's the end of my moto vlog so if you catch me on the streets anywhere from here to tennessee the Kakalaki to uh, space, chilling with space pod. Make sure you shoot me a hits up display, and I'll talk to you guys later. Give me a hit nut up. There you go.